Man, I don't know what's up with orcas lately, but they are on a tear hunting down and attempting to sink yachts and other boats. And um, you know what? A lot of people are actually pretty excited about it. They find this to be an interesting development in the news, but not everyone is excited. Uh, Jacob Stern, a staff writer for The Atlantic, just wrote an article this weekend that says, killer whales are not our friends. Stop rooting for the orcas ramming boats. And um, that has begun. Actually, that, um, oh, we're gonna have this debate. Francesca, because you seem like you're on the side of these rogue rapscallion orcas. <laughs> so here is the case that Jacob Stern is making in defense of boats, I think. Media figures and academics are expressing solidarity with their orca comrades and support for orca saboteurs. One widely circulating graphic shows a pod smashing a boat from below above the words, join the orca uprising. Yet all of this fandom and projection tends to overlook important facts. First, these orcas are likely to be playing with the boats rather than attacking them. And second, if one insists on judging killer whales in human terms, it's plain to see they aren't heroes, but sadistic jerks. <laughs> We're gonna go into the second part. I love the first part where he's like, people are making memes about how awesome it is that orcas are sinking yachts. Uh, let me point out, they're probably not actually engaging in a class war. They're probably just playing. Jacob Stern, if I can call you Jacob Stern. Um, I think these people are just having fun with it. I don't think that they think that it's malice. <laughs> like, I think I don't think they care about the motivation, buddy. What do you think, Francesca? Yeah, I mean, sadistic jerks makes me think that he is also uh, engaging in a little bit of a satirical writing himself. So it feels like he's sure. in on the joke. Um, but it, it, look, we've all seen or steadily avoided the documentary Blackfish. I have been avoiding the documentary Blackfish for 10 years now. When did it come out? You haven't seen it? No. Oh, Why? Because I don't want to be it. sad. Forever. I believe in engaging in the reality based world and I don't shy away from uh, difficult truths. That's just me, I, I don't know. Look, anymore. after this new show is done, I just like press play on my little sunshine and lollipops and rainbows <laughs> everywhere. And I just go back, that's just looping in my head. Mm -hmm. Okay, well that's a possibility. So look, yes, I agree. I think that he's playing a little bit. He, he did decide to write the article in the first place though. Maybe it's maybe it's necessary to get to the satirical point or whatever. It still seems like a choice in comparison to what's going on. But but I love this section that says, what about all the other evidence we have of Orca's cruelty or even wickedness? Yes, and again, using the word wickedness definitely yeah. indicates. <laughs> um, scientists say they hunt and slaughter sharks by the dozen, picking out the liver from each one and leaving the rest of the carcasses to rot uneaten. Orcas kill for sport. They push, drag, and spin around live prey, including sea turtles, seabirds, and sea lions. Some go so far as to risk beaching them in order to snag a baby seal, not to consume, but simply to torture it to death. Once you start applying human ethical standards to apex predators, things turn dark fast. Yeah, and it definitely seems like he's critiquing orcas, but also humans because we do all of that and more. Anyway, like it, I don't know to what extent it's a balance of actually having an issue with the advocacy and playing. I'm sure it's some combination of those two, but. Uh, do you think that it is about the fact that it's been pitched mainly as yachts that are that are being sunk? If it was other sorts of boats, like if it was that they were in the Mediterranean, they were sinking like migrant ships from North Africa, I think people would feel different about it. But yachts oh, very yeah. much have become this symbol of just insane capitalism in the end times of our civilization. We are having fun, all right? Memes about orcas, which yes, I did create a white Gladys meme on my Instagram, at Franny Fio, you can check it out. I did. Uh, <laughs> saying, I did, I did, mama makes art, okay? Uh, it wasn't even AI, unlike John. Um, yeah, it was a rising tide sinks all yachts. And that's you know with a little Lisa Frank orca, which I'm like, tell me if I should get that tattoo. Because if I ever get a tattoo, it's gonna be a Lisa Frank tattoo. Yeah, I know, it's corny. Um, but we're having fun. It is our way of speaking back to an incredible onslaught of climate chaos, corporate greed, and the and the inability to have any say over any of it. All right. Some of us do strikes on Fridays outside of their school. Um, you know, Greta, shout out to Greta. And others of us, you know, make little memes because it's <laughs> all we can do to fight against the sadness and our immense powerlessness. 
Art is what we have. That's the art is what we have. have. Orcas have their bulky bodies and I'm assuming fangs probably. Um, and anyway, they're not killing people, at least as of when we're recording this. If it turns out that they sink another one, someone dies, that is a utter tragedy. But they don't actually hunt people, they don't eat people or whatever. Um, have you seen I, the Triangle of Sadness? No, no. I was busy watching. You need to watch the, the Triangle Black of Fish. Sadness. Okay, I'll work on it. Anyway, um, yeah, people are having fun. Let them have fun. We all, I think we all wish nature would fight back a little more. We were raised on like Fern Gully, and that's not really back. the way. Do do you not wish that like that the Ents could go on their last march against that's Cuban it. industry? I, like I, I would. Like a- I want to ride on Treebeard's shoulder as we knock <laughs> I down love the, that. the oil companies. But I love that, but it's also such a right wing thing. Like it's like Shapiro, like, you know, one would figure that if uh, nature were actually under attack, that nature would um, be fighting back. Uh, we've all seen the scene in The Little Mermaid when the starfish attack uh, the uh, sea witch. Now, uh, in, in the real world, I think we, we would probably see uh, octopi rising up. And uh, we just haven't seen that. Okay. Uh, ergo, it's not exist. it doesn't exist. That's too good of an impersonation. I feel like I'm talking to Ben <laughs> Shapiro, so it makes me uncomfortable. Anyway, and by the way, I know that they don't have fangs. I like the Atlantic author <laughs> just having fun. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.